Hi people, throughout these weeks and every second I breathe, I've had frustration in me. The amount of unexpected things that happened to me when I thought they weren't going to happen and it happened, like, I don't know what to do with myself. Life doesn't even feel like life right now. Like, I, I literally feel nothing and I think that's a sign of depression, so it's good to let it go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be talking about my pet peeves. Right now it's a severe thunderstorm and so if you hear like lightning, thunder, uh, don't mind that. And if I die because I'm second floor next to a window in a bathroom talking to myself, at least I got it on camera. So today we're going to be doing a little face mask. We're going to be putting on Rihanna's cookies and clean and talking about pet peeves. But first let me wipe my face. I mean wash my face. She said that you could do it dry or wet so... It just has to be a clean surface and then let it sit for 15 minutes so i'm taking what rihanna says and run with it because it works like pregnant girl know what she's doing let's start talking about them shall we the first one i'm sorry i'm so excited to be bashing people oh my god well honestly it starts serious and then it starts getting like random stuff so the first one is colorism people who are colorists why the I'm sorry if I curse in this. Why the fuck are y'all picking like people for like roles or like who to date or like to be friends with over how dark they are? No, I really want you to think about it. I don't know if it's because like life doesn't feel like life anymore, but like I'm really starting to just think like what what what's the reason? Like Aren't your mama's black? Like, black, black? Like, and then most of them be like, oh, yeah, like, um, like, if I had to pick a girl, they'll probably be lighter just cause. Why? We're all black. At the end of the day, if we do something wrong or we, it looks like we did something wrong and there's a cop in our face and one of them's light skin and one of them's dark skin, guess who's getting shot? Both of them niggas. We are all like the public number one enemy so it really doesn't matter how light or how dark we are like it really doesn't and i swear to god ever since i heard that that was a preference i'm not trying to fetishize nobody but i'm pretty sure my type is most likely dark skin for some reason or maybe it's because something else that i'm not gonna get into yeah like it just like dude that, that's gotta be the stupidest reason for anything the next thing we got on here is homophobia Man, isn't this a big part of my life? So, I get one thing. Oh, it was put in the Bible. It's just in certain religions. Why? Why, though? Let me tell you something. Back then, before this Bible religion stuff existed, they literally used to have boats. Boats of people having sex. What? All genders. No discrimination. They were all getting it in. It was cool until some douchebag decide, oh, let me just, let me put, instead of pedophiles, man and, and boy, let me put boy and boy. So you all look stupid because it was changed. We're applying the mask now. You think, and the same people who are homophobic literally do so much other sins. So let's focus on people who are not religious. I almost died. Look at that. <sighs> Let's focus on people who are not religious, but they just think being gay is wrong. Why? Are you in the closet? Do you need help coming out? I can help you. Like, I really can. It really shouldn't bother you that much that the same gender likes the same gender. Like, you have a life. Like, just please choose to live it at this point. There's so much other stuff that you could be worried about, yet you worried about that? Like, what? And then for parents, homophobic parents... Why is the first thing that comes to your mind when your child, your own son or your own daughter that's like maybe 10 years old, 16, why does the first thing come to your mind, sex? Like, what make what makes you think that they're going to be doing that in the first place? Like, they could just, well, just want to kiss. They could just want to hug. They could just want to date. And that's it. Like, why does sex come to your head? Like, you really think of like a pervert. Nobody, if straight kids don't even want to have a conversation about sex, why do you bring it up with gay children or like anybody who likes the same gender? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. God made this and this just so it could go. Like, God made them too just so that we can reproduce and have more shit children. Like, it's really not that serious. But for real, for real, 
I'll be telling them people to kill themselves, not going to lie. <laughs> I'll be really saying the most outrageous stuff to people like that because it doesn't make any sense. It's really not that serious. Next thing that's kind of connected with homophobia that we got on this thing is touchy girls or girls pretending to be gay. Why? <laughs> uh, like, like, this is basically just a question at this point. Like, just, just, just why? Why do you feel the need to touch somebody's boob? Why do you feel the need to touch somebody's um, ass? Why do you feel the need to just touch somebody at all? And then girls who try to be gay, they'd be like, Oh yeah, I'm always gay with my friends. I'm always gay with them. Like, all right. Would you go in bed with them? Would you marry them? Want to be in a serious relationship and talk about acting gay? Then do it. No, because they have a boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. I see these people. This is so normalized in like school and stuff. Like, please stop. Please stop smacking each other's asses. Please stop kissing on each other and then go with, date a guy like stop trying to be gay stop trying to be something that you're not stop trying to get yourself into something that you don't want to get yourself into and that's the same with white people or anybody trying to act black no 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 yeah white people white people stop trying to act black we, you don't talk like that you don't act like that you don't dress like that stay in your lane you already did enough to us can't wait to talk crap about this the next thing is Teachers who have no life. I have this one teacher that I'm still going to the school, still have the teacher. I'm not out of school yet. I'm not going to say her name, but this one teacher, she can die. Like, she can really choke. Tell me why there's a late bell, right? I understand if you're late, like a minute late or something like that, and you're going to be like, okay, detention or whatever. That's not my business because... I'm not late to class like that. But let's say the teacher is standing directly in front of the door. You're walking to your class, right? Boom, the bell rings, but you're like two seconds away. An inch away, and the teacher's like, you're late. Maybe if you moved your fat ass out the way, then I wouldn't be late. And maybe if these tall ass kids can speed up and, stop and start actually walking in the hallways, I wouldn't be late. Your class could be right here, right here, on the other half of the world. And she's right here. Like, how do you expect? This ain't Dora the Explorer. Like, I'm not gonna find my way that fast. They literally just like to hate on kids. They like to make us depressed, stressed out for no reason. What's the reason? Like I be hearing teachers saying like they won't they do they won't let that slide in um middle school, they won't let that slide in high school. Okay. Why are people talking over the teachers? Why are people jumping on tables? Why are people cursing out people and getting, like, you You will let that slide because nobody cares anymore. There's no need to be that strict. Like, you have a man at home or you have a girl at home. Like, let that anger out in the bed, not on us. Next is also kind of connected with school, but not really. Like, people who know that they're in the wrong or it's just, like, unnecessarily rude. If somebody would be like, um, like, you're blasting, like, you're blasting music no headphones on in class and the teacher's like can you please turn that down or like if you're like talking really loud everybody else is talking but you're the one talking really loud for no damn reason and she's like um i'm trying to teach here can you please you know tone that down a little bit or stop talking and they'd be like why are you always coming for me you always coming for me you're bullying me no. that's why i don't like teachers because they Nothing in this world is that fucking serious. Wait, when I said that, I meant like, you know how like racism somehow fucking exists because of the color of our skin? Like, it's not that serious. Like, everything that's a big problem in this world started from something that was the smallest thing ever. Like, nothing is that serious. But it is for some reason. And they know that they're in the wrong. Let's say that you're like, let's say that you're at a job, right? The job told you, the boss and the manager told you multiple times, you can't wear that and you can't do that. And then when they finally get on you again for like the 11th time, you you quit. Like, you just be like, oh. oh. Well, you know what, forget you. You always tell me the same thing. Like, you know that you're in the wrong. And then you're going to go home and talk crap about them that like nothing, like you didn't do anything. You know what you did. And you're asked for that. Honestly, I'm not going as hard as I thought I would, but... 
it's just good to let this out because I hate you people. I hate you. Then we got relationships. I'm going to be honest. I'm a hating ass nigga. I'm a jealous ass bitch. It is what it is. Every time, like, at the state of mind I'm at right now, every time I hear, I see, if I hear a in the hallway, I would want to kill myself. Like, it, it's just an instinct now. I don't even joke like this. I don't like saying that I'm going to kill myself. That's why I say I'm going to kill other people. But, like, it's getting out of hand now. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to nobody to imply it. Like, just please. Like, it's so annoying. Like, just hearing people, yeah. Like just just shut up just stop nobody asks and if i did ask i was probably trying to be nice i really don't care like i'm being so serious maybe i'll change in like a month a week maybe i'll change tomorrow my whole mindset but right now stop okay it's time for the like less important stuff when doja cat's on live as you know i make videos and stuff about that people are always saying that she is drunk or high every time she says or does something weird like she can literally twerk like she could twerk with her back or something she would be like are you high are you dumb just think is she high look at her eyes like look at the way that she's talking and stuff but every time she would be like i like to scratch my butthole in public like without any slurs or anything people would be like are you high like even if you are joking stop because you're not funny it never was funny i don't know when it's gonna be funny but it's not funny now it's annoying irritating please stop when people don't use common sense i hate that like people who are like always judgmental to other people in the music industry this is my pet peeve when they don't be using common sense when they don't be using contact clues and don't be thinking oh my gosh why is he jumping on the stage why is he yelling like that like just calm down picture this you're at a concert where there's a million people in front of you, right? Some people can't hear. Some people all the way in the back. Some people can't see. What do you think you're going to do? You're going to yell. You're going to yell to get people to hear you. You're going to jump and give that energy to get, to get people to hear you because it's a concert. Like, why else do you think he's jumping? Like, do you want him to come out like... Like... And it's always the same people with like Beyonce or something. They'd be like, oh my God, she's doing too much. Or oh my gosh, Chloe's doing too much. Like, okay, if you're on a stage, you don't want to do not enough. Like, you're not doing enough. We're always used to these mediocre or just straight up ass performers instead of actual performers that want to give energy and dance. Like, you're going to be like, oh my God, why did you just do that? To give entertainment to the video. Like, why else? Stop asking questions. Then we got, if you play Roblox, campers and feed a facility. Why are you so close to the damn pot? This is the pot. Somebody's in here. That straw represents somebody in here. If the beast goes all the way away, they gonna die. The level goes down, right? Why are you standing right here? Like, if there's people standing here, you're standing right here. I'm not even dying. Like, what's the point? They'd be like... And at some point, them people are not gonna care anymore, and they're gonna win and hack the computers, and you're gonna leave one person to die. Like, stop camping. I could go... I can literally make a 20-minute video on my experiences with camping and how much I hate the people camping and just camping in general. Like the creator of the game, people were camping so much in feeding facility that they literally had to make the bar stay still every time somebody's close to the pot. That's a sign. Use your contacts clues. Like I said in the last one, that's the sign. Stop camping so much. And like, even in the first place, like they weren't even dying that fast because the camper, I mean, because the beast was so close. But once they backed away, they started dying real fast. Like, <laughs> damn. Next, we got the word mid. Mid means like, it's okay. Mid means like, it's not bad, but it's not good. It means like, it's in the middle. But, and I understand that when it first, when people first started saying mid. 
But now y'all are saying mid for the most outrageous stuff. Oh my gosh, Beyonce's mid. Kendrick Lamar's mid. And then they be saying the worst stuff. Like, do you know what mid means? Mid means in the middle, which means don't bash them. But now it's just so annoying to hear. Like, if you say that somebody's mid, please be expected to be jumped. Please be expected to be bullied. People who find people attractive, let's say like Zendaya, for example, they'd be like, Zendaya's mid. How is a person mid? Just because people find that person attractive doesn't mean that they mid. Nobody is fucking mid when it comes to looks. Or nobody is fucking overrated when it comes to looks. Like, why are you writing people off of that? Now you're just saying anything now and it's annoying. Okay, that's the end of my list. Honestly, I probably might take this video down just because I don't think you understand how hard I want it to go. I don't think you understand how much I have on my mind that I didn't let out in this video, which is another one of my pet peeves, my fucking self. Get it together.